Hello and welcome back to MLB The Show 18 and the Jason Parham Road to the Show. I'm Tyron Saber. Last time out, Jason put in an eight-inning effort against the Tampa Bay Rays. He pitched eight innings, allowed six hits in a run, and collected eight strikeouts and got the win. So he's 2-0 and to start the season. It's a good feeling. Let's see how, see how we can go from here. Okay, bullpen day. What do we got? What do we got? Two scene velocity, always fun. 12 6 control, cut break. Mm, okay. Two scene velocity cap, okay. Batting practice, not really useful to us right now. Speed, maybe. Four workout, cap. cap right? um, hmm. I guess we'll go two scene velocity in lieu of anything else. Good job, good job. Guess we'll find out uh, what else we can do here. Total mastery of a skill requires continual refinement. All right, get some more caper nine. Get some more strikeouts. We like strikeouts. Strikeouts are awesome. Okay, next game up is Boston against Baltimore coming into Fenway Park. Now Jason has faced off against the Baltimore Orioles grand total of four times before he's two and one against them and he has a career 3.55 era so we'll, we'll go in there and we will find out what we can do so let's get it now from fenway park here in boston tonight the opener of a three-game series between the baltimore orioles and the boston red sox get ready for red sox baseball next Jason Parham gets the call for game one of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, this guy pitched really well in his last outing, only allowing one run. If he brings that kind of stuff to the ballpark, he has a chance to pitch another gem in this one. Well, that's the goal Settling every time. In now, Kevin Lane. Throw He'll our get best us started every in this time we one step under out the on the field. Second baseman, Kevin Lane. But, as ever, most important is to get out here and throw, so let's get to it. Here comes the first pitch. Underway here in the Monday opener as the game's first pitch misses for ball hmm. one. Guys, this Red Sox ball club entering play here tonight. They come in trying to rebound after a loss that snapped a modest three-game winning streak. Yeah, Maddie, this is why we do what we do. Two first-place teams going to go at it today. Don't know how this is going to shake out. Is this playoff hey. baseball? Come early a little bit. Interested to see how the managers go about it. We got some stars out on the field today. And oh, to be on the beach in Hawaii tonight. 43 degrees at first pitch. It's a cold one for sure. Sure, Jason would rather be wearing his turtleneck tonight. But uh, alas, I didn't get to the equipment room before the game. Fastball Just and he swings that through an arm warm there, Jay. Hey, nobody what? Okay, he was late on the fastball, so I think I'm just gonna give him yet another. Maybe we'll give him an inside fastball. And tapped it. But he certainly would have hit it pretty well on the inside, so I'm not feeling too bad about that. But he was early on that guy, so how about low changeup? Just a bit low. Tough call, but it's two and two. Well, one thing about him, he's an absolute grinder at the plate. You can pretty much count on him battling at the plate every chance he gets. Okay. How about Let's go now. Let's go ahead and give him a high cutter. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. He does with it. Is looked at and the count Not moves too much. 
you can bet these hitters are taking note of what the guy on the hill is working with. A long at bat like this in the first inning can reveal a lot. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and use Showtime here. Pop a changeup, low inside corner, see if he goes for it. Now a foul tip straight into foul the catcher's into glove, the glove, and he's able to hang on to record plate. the first out of the inning. And now the starting lineup for the visiting Baltimore Orioles. Mark, what's your take on him against one of the best starters in the game? Well, Matt, when we drove over to the ballpark today, we were expecting some offensive firepower, especially in this yard. It's a hitter's yard, but that could sometimes work against them. I'm interested to see what lineup stays within themselves and executes and manufactures to get this W. And that'll bring up one of the top prospects in the game, Lamel Tapia. And he's looking to get it going off to a bit of a slow start this year. At this point, Rymel Tapia has been in the league for probably about four years. So I don't know that you can call him a prospect anymore. First off, I'm not an expert or anything, but I think there's a, and now a bunt attempt here as he gets bunting. this one down. But the Hate throw bunting. will beat him at first, so the bunt for hit attempt is snuffed out. Coming to the plate now, Trey Mancini. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. All right, two out, nobody on. Keep it rolling here, Jay. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Missed with a slider. Just underway here at Fenway Park. Two and zero oh to the Baltimore left hmm. fielder. Do you take your chances in this situation as a hitter? I wonder about that one. Knowing um. he's just missed outside two pitches in a row and dive a little bit and try and drive something in the opposite field. Now the 2 0 home. And that's a in shot straight back up the middle for Trey Mancini. Put, puts a man on first with two outs in the top of the first. Hey, there's a nice knock by the three hole hitter. I know there's two outs, but they always say with your man coming up, the number four hole monster, as soon as he steps in the batter's box, there's a runner in scoring position. Batting four. Well, at the very least, I'm not too worried about him stealing. Justin Upton. Here's Justin Upton now. As he'll take a look at the mm, pitch Jay. too low. It's ball one. Upton. Where's your command, or simply man? Jay up. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season. I want to throw a whole lot of challenge pitches today if I don't have to. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with go. you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. And there are the umpires working this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Patrick Johnson. You know, D-Roll, Patty Johnson, you know, decent strike zone, but isn't always super consistent. Come on, I think Jay. That's one of you got it in you to hit the players hit the zone. and pitchers. Yeah, you're going to see a few glares, not only from the offensive guys, but maybe the guy on the mound as well. He needs to be a little bit more consistent. Hey, no one better. Stay hot. Here we go. Smoked on the ground Tap up the middle. To set. Throw on to second for the DJ horse, gets and the side is over. retired. To, uh, One left for the Orioles. O's zero. Uh, Socks coming to the plate. You're watching Major League Baseball. I think after all this time, I would have all my players memorized, but at last, it's not coming. Up. At the plate, Derek Dietrich. He's hitting just south of 300 in April. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. All right. Boston scores three in the bottom of the first, and that puts us up 3 nothing, top of the second. Let's get after it. Here's the first pitch to him. Just a bit high that time as he misses hmm. for a ball. Love jumping out to an early 3 nothing lead, but this game is far from over. A lot of innings left to be played. He's going to have to continue to execute out on that mound. And this is fouled at the plate. He was late on that one, so I think I want to throw him another fastball if I can get away with it. A 1 1. 
And he goes and chops and that this straight one out on over the DJ Mayhew. Pro to first will be in time, and out. there's one gone here to start the second. So here's how the Bo Sox are positioning themselves defensively. And let's focus our attention on first baseman Jose Abreu. There's we that know man, the Marcus Simmons. The ability Tip my tongue to drive and I the ball out opposite field, no problem. But I don't think people realize how That's soft this guy's on hands are at plate. first base, constantly failing. Rafael Devers and out. Jose Abreu at the corners. DJ LeMay with Merrifield next to Andrew Benintendi, Jack Bradley Jr. Five trips to the and J.D. Martinez. How could I ever forget those names? Well, fact of the matter is, I forget them very easily because I'm really not that much of a uh, Red Sox fan. First pitch coming. Here it is. Here's a strike. One out. Nobody on. We got one out here. Try that slider. Ooh. Out in front there as this one's pulled off Left it off over to the, the plate a little too much, and he was hey, just he like a he touch early on. He looked like he was a little bit out in front on that breaking ball right there. The body can go a little bit if he was able to keep his... So let's go ahead and throw that curveball low inside corner, see if we can sneak it past him. That was swing yes, and a miss. He struck him out, and it's two plate. up, two down to start the second. That's a pretty sad attempt at hitting a baseball right there. No doubt he was completely fooled because that was a curveball and it looked like he was late on a curveball. That tells me he gave up on it right till the very end and obviously there was nothing he could do at that point. All right, two out. Adeni Echeverria, let's get going. Here's Echeverria now. And he'll take a tough pitch on the outside part of the plate for strike one. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Slider, same spot. Okay. The wind up and same motion, the just slowed down. Hit in the air out to right. Martinez has a read on JD it. Right field. No trouble and with this gets one. Us out of it. The inning is over. Easy as that. So they go quietly here in this half inning. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. The Red Sox are out in front, three to nothing. Standing in, Andrew Sousa. And they've got some work to do early on. Down four nothing already. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Nope. High and yeah, tight Boston here to begin the inning. It's bottom of the second, making it 4-0 well, top. Just seen fastball third. Let's go. A little too much off the plate, but now that sets him up to work with something away and maybe even an off-speed pitch. The 1-0. Or that cutter away. Misses off the plate. Cuts a little too much. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, let's do this. Your pitch right here, kid. Let's go. Change up. Ooh, that got all up in uh That got all up in Blake's business. Let's go. Let's go right here. He was early on that one and calling for fastball. I don't know if I buy that. Let's try. Yeah, curveball. How about a curveball? Nice little curveball. That's right on over the first base. And Jose Abreu gets it. Out one out. Unassisted. And with one away, time for a check of the standings in the American League East as you get a look at where these two teams find themselves entering play. Well, 10 games in, it's clear that uh, Boston's having the better of it. But again, we got another 152 so games to go. Garcia. Let's Hope not get too full hot. of ourselves he here. Had a couple of hits, including a home run yesterday. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Well, look out. Oh, right Shot over to third, to Rafael Devers. Away. One pitch, one out.
Stepping into the box, Kevin Lane. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Second baseman, Kevin Lane. Okay, let's see. Going for high fastball. That's just what I was thinking. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. And that one stayed up a little high. Okay, Jay. That's the way it's going to be. Right on the corner that's what I of the fastball see. that he takes for a strike. Hey, let her rip right here. Now a flare out toward right center. Golf it out, DJ. Ranging into and shallow he gets right. It. He makes the play, and that'll end the Not inning. Not a problem. Three up, three down for the Orioles. They're on the short end of a four-nothing score. Now batting, Rymel Tapia. Leading off for Baltimore, center fielder. And now we are up eight to nothing in the top of the fourth. Boston going ham against the poor Baltimore Orioles. What a shame. There we go, kid. First delivery to him on the way. No balls and a strike to count. Okay, left that one in the zone a little too much. But he was late on it. So let's go with a cutter. Top corner of the zone, the if I can get it. Pulled that high in the air out to right was field. pretty much Martinez center cut, has a read on it. and it's only He's got it one for, away. It's only because of a little bit of cut on that thing. Rymel Tapia didn't quite make good contact on that. That's the difference between a long fly ball in once again. and a home Trey run. Mancini. He reached on a single in his first try. Okay, he hit pretty well on that low inside fastball. So I think I'm going to go ahead and give him a two-seamer towards the outside. Hey, now, we got one. We got one. Ready to deliver. Here's the Hope first he doesn't pitch. get too... Oof. Into center Zing field. Zing straight past base Jason hit. Parham. And that is his second hit of the game. Dan, that can't bother you too much as a pitcher. Guy swinging first pitch. Now, one of the things you want to do, D. Rose, you have to try to get ahead with the first pitch. You want to throw one of the first two pitches for strikes. Unfortunately, sometimes when you bring the ball in the strike zone, you're bound to give up some base hits, but hopefully he can minimize the damage here. Justin Upton. All right, well, that's Justin Upton on for cleanup. Into the box, Justin Upton. As Ooh. he'll look at a breaking ball. He goes reaching, but doesn't one. quite swing. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Doesn't break the plane, according to the ump. And that's a discussion we can have for another day. The 1 0 home. One ball, one strike to count. He was late on that, I think. Yes. Okay. How about a low fastball then? Ooh. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Out of the zone, As and a still hitter, goes You know for the it. pitcher's trying to work you down around the knees in a double play situation, so making him get a pitch that, so up and actually in the zone again. is a must. Let's go outside curve and see if he can hold back long enough on it. Yes, he can. Get well on the ground to first. To second for one. On to first, but not in time as he well, Jay doesn't out. quite have the wheels to make that double That's play a work, really so double play trade to turn when the first baseman one runner for another. Coming off the bag and then make a throw to two second outs with a man while the first. runner is going down the line. Couldn't complete the double play, but at least they got one out. Maybe we should have gone to the running track, Jay. Now batting, first baseman, Derek Deeper. In now, Derek Dietrich. As he'll take a look at ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Now, if I can recall correctly, Derek Dietrich was one of Jason's teammates on the Marlins back when he was still their very short lived starter ace. The 1 0 home. 
is hey. in there for strike one. Dietrich, an Ohio native. This is the final year of his current deal, so he'll be a free agent at season's end. This guy has been an absolute beast this year. Three so cutters in Leading row. the team in home I'm runs as he not too sure about that. Free agency, huge payday on the horizon. I want to go change up, low outside yeah, corner. That throw pretty much hit the spot, funny enough, but. He was early on it, too. And he'll step off. So I'll step off real fast. Instead, I'm going to go ahead and throw my slider. Swinging a soft liner. Right at DJ LeMayhew for an easy third out. First gets him, and the side is retired. Not bad. Orioles leave one. Still 8-0. At the plate, Whit Merrifield looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch Ooh. in the eighth and ninth inning. Owen won the count. I'm doing me a little favor there. Maybe caught a molecule of the plate. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Chopped weakly to the left. Tapper Devers over gloves it. And Raphael the fifth inning Devers. will start with a ground out, one away. That's an easy out. Get that change up working. At the plate, Adani Echevarria. The batter, number 11, shortstop, Adani Echevarria. Okay, let's try that slider one more time. See if we can't get something going with it. First oh, offering on its way. And that slider is almost in the dirt. No runs, two hits, and no errors for the Orioles so far. Okay, we'll give the slider a rest for a minute on, and try man. something else. Let's go. In for a there's, strike, it's one there's and one. A strike. It's a strong defender playing up the middle in the infield. He's got great hands, good range, the big arm, and those skills are not lost on his teammates, his coaches, or his front office for that matter. Yeah, he has the ability. What I love about this ball player, he's got such a great internal clock. It seems like it's bang bang Ooh. at first every time, but the guy's out. Almost he's got, got sure you hands on it. and an accurate throwing arm. Sometimes it can be early. difficult for a pitcher you're facing early. a guy that's not known so. to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Two balls and a strike it's here. Come that change up. And that one stayed too Gee, low really. apparently. Jason. I know this team has been struggling offensively, but here's a perfect situation with a 3-1 count. You have a chance to do some damage. You know you're getting a guaranteed fit. All right, let's not get too crazy here. Let's throw that slider. Go for either a swing and a miss or taken in by Abreu. An easy out. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. We don't have to get exotic out here. We just need to get out. Now to the plate, Andrew Susak. He got on top strike of the good. ground. We like strikeouts. Last time. Andrew Susak. 50th pitch but of the game on the I would much rather way. see and a good pitch 27 on outs on the corner. board strike and a big one. old goose egg in the scoreboard. The wind up and the 0 1. One, one, one. On oh, the Jay. Up the middle. Almost had and it. And that's through for a hit. Just took a bad bounce, and he didn't react fast enough. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Nice try, yeah, though, Jay. Watch your lips right there, Dad. Sent it back right where it came from. Okay, so we've got a runner on first with two outs. What do we say? Slider. Here we go, 
guys. Stepping in now, Avisail Garcia. Yeah, I got the strike. The strike at the knees. It's 0 and 1. Susak leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. For that high. And that's inside Ooh. off the plate with the fastball. It's one and one. You got it, Jay. You got you got this. Don't flip your wig. Or your your beautiful flowing locks, if the case may be. Come on, big guy. Get your pitch. Count is one and two now. Okay, he was late on that guy. So, how about we go high outside corner, cutter, see if we can't get a swing and a miss. Hit hard on the ground we cannot get a swing and a miss, but we got another shot straight over to J.D. Martinez that gets us out of here. So, no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Home half of the fifth coming up. Boston's out in front, eight to nothing. Digging in once again, Kevin Lane. And through five turns at bat, they've only mustered a total of three hits. Not terrible, but they're certainly not firing on all cylinders. Well, it's getting a little bit too late in this game if this continues like this. In today's game, with so many dominant bullpen arms, you certainly don't want to wait until the eighth or ninth to try to wake the bats up. Okay, well, Baltimore must have swapped in one of their bullpen guys, so they held Boston to a big old zero. First delivery to him on the way. Well hit to right, but a foul ball. Okay, that one's just on the other side of the line. Just late on that, so another fastball uh, merited, warranted, I suppose. Let's try it. Behind 0-2 now, Abreu into foul territory, and that's going to land foul. Giving some more gifts to the fans over in that section. The wind up right, and the elevated O2 fastball. Pitch. Popped him up. Nice little Why pop up. Shading to his right. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. And Blake Swihart exactly got that one no problem. That pitch up of the zone. They took him up the ladder, and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. I wasn't quite where I wanted that ball to go, but it had the desired effect. Into the box now, Rymel Tapia. He swings and hits it foul Ooh, off to is. the right and out of play. These guys are going He's for it, man. These the guys have so nothing left to lose, so they are swinging for the fences. Hey, see you rip it up there. Well, let's take advantage of that, shall we? He's swung early, so let's go curveball. Go outside corner. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Another slow breaking ball that misses down low. Okay. That was about as good as I can make it, and he didn't bite it. So let's try a similar spot, but with a fastball. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hit the target, no. but this is low, two and one. Not so much. No runs, three hits, one error thus far for Baltimore. That one bounces off of Blake's business once more. It's 3 2. High outside fastball. Given the way I've thrown so far, I think that's the way to go here. Let's give him one right top of the corner. Let's go. Got him looking at gotcha the fastball looking. as that had some two Have seam movement to it. Two gone. This guy is really locked in on the bump right now. He's just playing good old fashioned hardball right now. Just rearing back and letting it go. And it seems like this lineup, they don't have an answer for anything he's bringing so far. And here's the big right handed power threat, Trey Mancini. A couple of singles to his credit thus far. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Takes a knee high fastball. Here's a perfect situation. Two outs, bases empty, power hitter at the plate. 
He ain't looking for a single and hoping to pass the baton. This guy's looking to do damage. Threat slider here. Hey, let's go right here. The wind up and the 0 1. Swing and a miss. A Good breaking ball right there. Good hard slider. The count now 0 and 2. He's getting deep into the outing, but his slider is still staying sharp. He doesn't look at all like he's starting to tire. He looks as good now as he did early on in the game. Well, he had pretty good timing on that one, so I think I don't want to give him something right similar. So let's go outside corner, curveball, see if he can catch up to it. That's a ball. Missed with a breaking ball. He can't catch up to Trying it, to get but him to chase uh, the that ump doesn't call it as a strike there, either. He wasn't biting. Very well could see it again here, though. That's just rude. Slowed him down. Now let's speed him up. The one-two is up at the letters, gotcha. but he gets the call. That's a make up three. Call. One, two, three, go the Orioles. They're Finally on the got Mancini out of the plate. Score. Ready once again, Justin Upton. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. First pitch on its way to Upton. Start out the seven. Strike one. No, to start no the change in the score. It's still eight nothing, top of the seven. Here we go, guys. Late on the Butter, so let's try another one. Here's the 0 1. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. I got to say, his command of the corners in this start has been pretty exceptional. He's mixed east and west really well, and it's a big reason why he's had success. Rip down the line. Bouncer. Uh, wind up foul. Still 0 2. So he was early on that guy. So let's show him some Showtime slider. Bottom left corner. Bottom outside corner. Let's go. And a swing and a miss. As he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. He's been in total control out there tonight. Gets the leadoff guy with a strike out there, and it just seems like we've seen so many off balance swings and weekly hit balls in this one. Let's keep it rolling, Jay. Right. Striking Only the in, top of the seven. Dietrich. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Let's lead him off with a change up this time, I think. First pitch on its way. Change up in for a strike. May not keep him guessing, but we sure will. Uh, if he's not going to swing, we'll take advantage right. of it. One more time, right here. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Dude. And he chased up and out of the zone, a swing and a miss. He's still looking great to me out there on the mound. Punched out the first guy in the seventh, and he's jumped ahead in the count right here. Looks like he could stay in this game a while longer. Okay, well, 0 and 2. He was early on that one. Let's go. Once again, that Showtime slider. Let's go outside slider this time. See if he can catch it. Now a swing yes, and a he can, as it turns out. Right at home plate. But he was late. So how about an inside cutter, high corner? No, let's go low corner. I haven't thrown a whole lot of those. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. The next 0-2 misses, and that'll move it to 1-2 okay, now. That's fine. Bases are empty, one man out. 1-2, and two. I'm fine with that. That 
Ball's headed for the uh -oh. gap in left center. He's got a base That one's hit. a gapper. Possibly more. Left center field. He'll get Jackie it Bradley second. Jr. gets it, but it's going to be and he's able to hustle not in time. Up to second as he'll reach here with a so Derek hit. Dietrich hits a double. Here's the fourth one in out the game, and in the it's top a good of the seventh. Puts a good swing on this thing, and it goes for a double. We'll see if they can build on it here. So they're not done yet here, these, uh, these Orioles. Odds are against them, but... With Merrifield next They're still to playing for pride. His guys are looking to erase and to pat that out their stats. The with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, Matt, they've been really shut down so far in this one. They've had runners on base, but haven't been able to string anything together. Hit on the ground is short. Oh, but that one's right over at Marcus Semien. In time at first, it. and there are two away. Over to Jose Abreu. And that's still man on second, now two outs. Coming to the plate now, Adani Echevarria, runner in scoring position with Sukan. Adani Echevarria. Ready with the first pitch, here it comes. Swing and, Swing and a miss. miss. At the good old Uncle Charlie Dietrich at second with two down. See it, drive it. Let's go right here. Popped him up. A little pop-up for DJ LeMahieu no to collect, one, and, and that's seven over. innings scoreless. One left for the Orioles. Still eight nothing. Time to get up and stretch because we only got two and a half innings left of baseball. Now at the plate, Andrew Susak. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Still, no, no change in the score. We're still 8 nothing, top of the eighth. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Not a bad idea right there. Make this guy work and see if he can throw the ball over the plate. Throws the first pitch for a strike. They need to get some runners on base and not a bad plan. Unfortunately, the pitcher came in with a strike on the first pitch. Right Swing and a miss the on the curveball curve ball, inside corner. So that's 0-2. I haven't got hung a strike out on you yet, so let's see if we can do that. He was early on the curve. And the curve is about as slow as it goes. So. Let's. Let's go ahead and use the changeup. Oh, I like that pitch. Taps it fell. He was late on the change, so I think now it's time for how about a high high cutter, I think. Come get some. Lifted down the We came and got some. On the run is Benintendi. But Andrew Benintendi makes a run at the wall and catches it. Getting late. Eighth inning now from Fenway with the Red Sox on top as you get a look at our game's line score to this point. And yeah, just a reminder, five outs to go. So here is Avisayo Garcia. A line out and a ground ball for an out on his line so far. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A fastball that finds the outside kind corner. Kind of a cheeky little strike yeah, there, but I'll take it. Go right there. High fastball, but usually those ones travel the furthest. Here you go. Going from go. high heat to nice little change up low inside. I like it. Let's do it. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. Lined hard toward right center. But gets unfortunately, down, he's, he's ready for it, and that's hit. another hit out to right field. J.D. Martinez waiting on it. It usually takes them a month or so to get it ironed out. So digging now it's in Kevin now. Lane Kevin on the plate. Lane. Man on his first with one out. His way as he popped out in foul Lane. territory. Hey, 
from the stretch. Hit out and that's right over the JD. DJ Mayhew. You get the double play. Three outs to go. They're going to leave us in. I think they might. 86 pitches so far. Back with more Monday Night Baseball following this. And that will bring up one of the top and prospects we are still in, the in going into the ninth. Starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Hey, come on. And we're finally getting tired. Can't blame him, really. 86 pitches in. Still got a little showtime on this on the slab though, so I think we'll be okay. First pitch of the at bat. What? Hard on the ground at first. Oh man. And that is in the right field, so the leadoff man's aboard. That's here still a hit. The ninth. So they're not going quietly. So he waited till the ninth inning, but he comes through here to extend the hit streak. That was close. Yeah, Matty B, you see that wry smile of him coming out of the box right there. He knew what was on the line. He'd be lying if he didn't. Oh, there's a lot of pressure on him because you're walking but into that batter's box out here. thinking, so I have a nice streak going. going, and this is more than likely going to be my last A.B. He comes through in a clutch. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. No balls and a strike to count. Hey, come on now. Okay. One time right here. And nobody... 0 oh, 1, here's the pitch. Behind 0 oh, 2 now. Yokes that one, but he was early on it. So let's go inside curveball, pray for double play ball. Grounded back up Not the quite, middle. Not quite. got it. Step on the bag for one. On to first, and that's the very Still last thing the they needed play. at this point in the ball game. As there Jason are quickly didn't get to look so cool in the exchange. Good pitch on the ground ball there, and an Marcus even Semyon better job making that the long run. And turn two, pretty smooth. Touch the bag, throw on to first. Here's Justin Upton now. He's their last and shot hey, here with two away in the ninth. As one they batter to go, to one out to go. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any got ten pitches to do it in to make so it a Maddox. What say y'all? Can do it. Here's the first pitch to him. And that Swing and a miss on, on the cutter. Break one. Real nice job keeping this guy into wraps in this one. No hits for him so far. And what stands out to me is they're going right after him. They're not pitching him like they're afraid he's going to do any damage. Good change up that time, but he wouldn't bite ball. on it. Hey, get your pitch up there, kid. Let's go now. Here we go. Here we go. All right, low fastball. One, one, one. Hit out towards second. Bounced over to DJ Mayhew. Mayhew. Second, he's got it. Jose Abreu collects it. And, and what do you know? The opener here at home as this well, Jason Parham pitches yeah, another he gem. He goes nine inning, full innings, allowing six hits but no and runs. And rolling, rolling. Making they this a complete game, shut out, and with 93 pitches, that is his second career. Maddox, he has gone to 0.77 set, ERA on the season. He's at 1.57 FIP and a 2.71 XFIP. So that's going to do it for me. Until next time, I'm Tyrant Saber, and I will see you at the ballpark.